It takes a unique set of talents to successfully advance a gold discovery to development and production. Expertise in geology, engineering, construction, mining and operations, permitting, sensitivity to community and environmental issues, stock market savvy, a head for finance and corporate governance, the ability to raise money and bring in and lead a team that can get it done. Gerald Paniton's knowledge and perspective in all these areas made him the perfect candidate to take Detour Gold's Detour Lake project from vision to reality. You know that if he sees a project, and that project has potential, that, that he can get it done. Gerald Paniton saw the potential for a large, low-grade deposit at the former Detour Lake mine, operated mainly as an underground operation from 1983 to 1999, until gold prices made it less feasible to operate. In 2006, Paniton founded Detour Gold with the purchase of the Detour Lake asset from Palangio Mines Incorporated for $75 million. Detour Gold was listed on the TSX on January 31, 2007. Gerald helped raise over $2 billion to bring the project to fruition. He's been able to take something that was a, an idea and a dream and turn it into uh, something that's tangible and, and uh, we have thousands of shareholders as a result. Between 2007 and 2011, we've drilled more than 500,000 meters of drilling to define this world-class deposit that will become the Canada's largest gold mine. Once the mine is fully commissioned, it will be processing about 55 to 60,000 tons a day. The mine is expected to produce an average of 650,000 ounces of gold per year over a mine life of 20 plus years. The mine is located about 180 kilometers northeast of Cochrane in northeastern Ontario. Detour Gold has selected Cochrane as its base for its regional office and is committed to making a positive difference in the local communities, including its Aboriginal partner communities. The bonus and the positive thing about Detour Gold is that the upper management in Detour Gold, the whole company for that matter, are people who understand small rural Canada. And when you bring that perspective to the opportunities that are there and the genuine care that I think Detour Gold has for communities and people, uh, we are extremely excited about the fact that we have the opportunity and an excellent company to work with as well. The mine is scheduled to start production in the first quarter of 2013 with gold reserves of 15.6 million ounces. Gerald has built Detour Gold on the principles of strong leadership, high standards, and transparency, with the ultimate goal of creating long-term value. He's got amazing uh, drive and ambition, and uh, he's good at uh, collecting people around him. He's good at team building. He's got a group there that I think would uh, go to the ends of the earth for the company. Uh, he's created it as a, a culture. So Detour Gold has a good culture and that mine up there is the end result of uh, all of those efforts. Those qualities of team building and leadership are, certainly come through in everything he's done. Gerald has over 30 years experience in the mining industry. After receiving his master's in geology from McGill University in Montreal, he went on to work for Lac Minerals in Val d'Or, Quebec and Placer Dome, both of which later became part of Barrack Gold. So I've done uh, pretty much everything from grassroots exploration all the way to build a mine. Gerald attributes much of his success to the things he learned at Barrick Gold. I was very fortunate to be exploration manager for Barrick for a number of years and exposed uh, to most of the best the gold deposit in the world. For example, I probably uh, sat uh, my eyes and my feet on more than 300 gold deposits worldwide. Gerald played a key role in Barrick's acquisition of Pangea Goldfields with gold assets in Tanzania. The acquisition really consolidated Barrick's holdings in, uh, in Tanzania and, and established Barrick as the, really the predominant or preeminent gold explorer in, in Tanzania and gave it the position that it, that it continues to enjoy today. Any mine that opens is a collective effort of uh, many different disciplines, many uh, professional men and women, uh, engineering, finance, geology, construction, operations. But there's always got to be somebody at the sharp end of the stick at the beginning that provided the catalyst for the situation, that provided the glue that pulled all of these disparate disciplines together, and Gerald was that guy. We are very proud that in such of a short time, in less than five years up to now, in six years when we're in production, uh, to have achieved what we've done. 
taking this project uh, from a rediscovery of an old mine to a world-class deposit.